Planting for Food and Jobs This training video is brought to you by the Ministry of Food and Agriculture. Soybean is a leguminous crop and is able to fix atmospheric nitrogen for its own use and even leave some for use by the succeeding crop in a rotation. Soya beans are consumed as an alternative to meat. It is good for soya milk, soy cheese. It's used as a supplement for Tom Brown, for cooking oil, it improves the soil fertility and controls parasitic weeds for poultry feeds and feeds for goats and sheep. The Agronomy of the Soya Beans Step 1. Site Selection Well-drained loamy soils An average growing season of 105 to 120 days. An annual rainfall of not less than 700 millimeters, well distributed throughout the growing period. In Ghana, the best environments for soya bean cultivation are the Guinea Savannah and the Forest Savannah Transition Agroecological Zones. Step 2 Land Preparation. Slash very weedy fields, plow and harrow once or twice to break soil lumps properly. Plow across the slope when the field is not level. Where it is possible to plant through, leave cleared vegetation on the field to act as mulch and help check soil erosion and weeds. Maintain good soil temperature for growth and improve soil organic matter content after they decompose. Good land preparation is critical for good seed germination and seedling establishment. Prepare the land early. Make sure that the soil is loose and well aerated, has good moisture holding capacity and free of weeds. In areas where mechanized land preparation is not possible or affordable, Clear and prepare land in the traditional way, using catalysts and hose. Step 3. Seed Selection There are different soybean seed varieties available for the farmer. Always advise farmers to use certified seeds bought from certified agro-dealers. The major ones include Pan 1867, Janguma, Enidaso, Nagba, Ahoto. Choose improved and certified varieties that are high yielding, tolerant or resistant to soybean diseases, resistant to pot shattering, nodulate well and fix nitrogen in the soil, early maturing, resistant to drought. Step 4. Germination Test It is important to test the germination and vigor of your planting seed before sowing. Always conduct a germination test, that is, preferably 10 days prior to planting, to help you decide on quality and seeding rate. Take 100 seeds and plant in a shallow trench about 2 meters long. Cover with soil and water well. Recommended seeding rate after germination test. If you count 85 or more plants, then plant 2 seeds per heel, that is 16 kilograms per acre when drilled. 
If you count 70 to 84 germination test, then plant 3 seeds per heel, that is, increasing seeding rate by 10 to 15 percent when drilled. If you count below 70, get better seeds. Step 5. Planting It's important to inoculate your seed before planting. There is a life form in the soil called bacteria. A certain type of bacteria lives on the roots of all bean crops to make them grow better. These bacteria can be bought to add to your seed and is called inoculant. Inoculant may be brown colored or white colored. Keep it in the bag it comes in until you are ready to use it. The bacteria in the inoculant makes these white bumps on the root. It is good if your beans have lots of these. You have to mix the inoculant with your seed. Plant your seed immediately after mixing or the bacteria will die. Plant soya bean about as deep as the space between your finger joints. That is plant at 3 cm depth. Plant the rows about 2 foot steps apart in the row. Plant about 8 seeds for each foot step. Plant closely to achieve the following. A good plant population. Maximum plant height. A good yield. Note. Avoid too early planting. Also avoid too late planting, as late planting results in low pot height and low yield. Step 6. Fertilizer Application Higher yields will be obtained if some amount of fertilizer, especially phosphorus and potassium, are applied before planting or shortly after planting. You can also apply organic manure as complement. Recommended fertilizer rate for soya bean. Apply 40 to 60 kilograms NPK 15, 15, 15 per acre and 40 kg single superphosphate per acre. Step 7. Weed Control Also note hand weeding 2 to 3 weeks and 5 to 6 weeks after planting. Agrochemicals should be the last resort. Step 8. Pest Management These are major pests. Leaf-eating caterpillars, pot-sucking bugs, major soybean diseases, soybean yellow mosaic virus, leaf spot, bacterial blight, root knot nematodes. Control. Tolerant seed varieties usage is key. Crop rotation is another key control method. Note these three key steps. Remember to inspect field every three days. Identify issues and determine an action plan. It's important for agri-extension officers to advise farmers on integrated pest management. Step 9. Harvesting. Soya bean field is almost ready for harvesting when you observe the following. Yellowing and shedding of leaves. Yellowing and drying of pots. Seeds become hard and yellow. Always harvest under dry conditions so that the grain quality will be high. After threshing and cleaning, further dry grain to about 10% moisture content before storage. 